Yesterday we talked about how we exfoliate our lips not to feel dry. The next step would be moisturizing it. So here today we are going to see our uh, lip glosses. So when it comes to lip scents, we always talk about lip scents, which is the color, but the gloss is the one that's making it all day wear. But lip scents cannot work without gloss, but gloss can be worn on its own. So today we are going to uh, see 10 of my favorite glosses that I'm going to just quickly show each one of them. Um, here, like I said, it has vitamin E and chia butter. So it's going to act as if you are lip balm too. So you can wear it. Um, I have picked all the pigmented ones. If you're using the uh, glossy gloss or any clear ones, that means you can use it even at night like a lip balm while going to sleep because they are going to be really, really moisturizing. So um, glosses are not uh, smudge resistant they will either smudge or get absorbed. So let's go ahead and see one by one and I'm going to quickly show 10 different ones. Starting with the first one is Madeleine from the permanent line. Uh, I'm starting with the lighter ones, then we'll move all the way to uh, the reds and finish it off. So here it is from the permanent line. That means you can uh, get it anytime. This is a full size. So uh, our, we do carry two, diff three different sizes. Um, the full size is twenty dollars. The um, midi size we call it, which is fifteen dollars. And very few came in um, mini size, which is ten dollar. But usually the mini sizes comes as a set so um, every winter we used to get a set of four colors for forty dollars we never allowed to split up split them so this is the standard size and uh, you can see uh, these are perfect even for your teens so that's the first one for the day next one i wore is metallic rose um, i just want to show the difference so here you can see um, this is the glossy finish whereas you can see this has more of a pearly finish so like our lip scents, um, the glosses can be like a glossy finish, a metallic finish, um, glosses that has shimmers in it, or we do have matte glosses too. So there can be four different varieties. So the first one we saw was like glossy finish. Here it is more of a metallic finish. So this is metallic rose. So, so far we saw glossy finish, metallic finish, and you can see this is matte finish. So the next one is a uh, rose petal matte. Um, you can also imagine these colors on top of a color. For example, you have picked a color like a nude pink or even um, Bella. Then um, having one lip sense color, you can have multiple glosses too. So the same color may look little different with each glosses on top. So here I did matte gloss because I know there are people who love matte finish on their lip colors. So even though the lip color is um, a frost or something, you can top it with the matte gloss to make it look more matte. So this is again a full size gloss uh, for my matte lovers. The next one is for all my pink lovers, which is Huckleberry, I think. I wore this color many times because uh, uh, if you pick my mo favorite ones like uh, Kiss Parakas, Purple Rain or um, like I said even Nude Pink you can uh, have a base and top it with a gloss like this so um, it will immediately brighten your whole look like uh, that's the um, beauty about having a good lip color because uh, um, you don't have to have much going on but just with a bright lip color you, fin you will finish your look and uh, um, with glosses you can go very subtle or you can layer them too for show up so for example I already have two layers or so but I can make it darker by doing one more layer but like I said it's going to smudge or get absorbed but it's perfect for your teens or anyone who just grab and go in their ha a bag for winters so they can keep it moisturized. Next one is for my brown lip lovers. Uh, here is the neutral uh, toffee. Uh, so we do have, to we used to have toffee latte and tiramisu. I think tiramisu is sold out. Whereas um, these will go very well on your any of the browns, Dawn Rising, um, Coco or any browns, like I said, nude honey, nude pink. If you are a nude lover, then this gloss is for you. It will go as is like your lip 
and keep it subtle and moisturized so this is toffee gloss for you so in metallic we saw a pink metallic whereas this is absolutely for my gold lovers so if you are a party person or a glitter lover or shimmer lover then this color will pretty much go on top of any lip sense color it doesn't matter whether you have a red whether you have a purple it will make that particular color into a uh, evening party wear so the same lip sense color just by wearing like a matte color you can use it as a day um, lip and just by adding like any metallics you will make it a perfect party wear too so this is dazzling dunes so you can see it's so so shimmery and metallic so that's the one i had it for next so so far we saw um purples pinks we do we did see gold uh, and browns this is coral so this one is fiesta gloss um it's a sold out gloss you can see um it has shimmers to it um it's a beautiful coral um summer is always uh, into bright lip color and particularly corals will go really well and um i have just one uh, left of this color and it's really really pretty on top of um uh, the color like uh, fair and all rockstar is my uh, one of my favorite because it's a pinkish coral i would say um, so if you see that's more of a um, matte color so adding a shimmer coral it's in this it's not more orangey i would say it's very very subtle but it has that glitters that when you are out and if you have light hits on it will shimmer through it perfectly so that's the one i wanted to show for that and we are moving to our favorite reds for the last ones so like i said we are moving to reds in that i am starting with a light red um you don't judge the bottle with how pigmented it is like i said here i do uh, two or three layers for the color to show up but if you are doing just one layer it will be really subtle so um if you see me so i can even do more layers for the color to show up or else it's going to be really really subtle so here is honey crisp that's the first one i started here it is um, more of a pinkish red rather than a full on red so um if you are still stepping into uh, get comfortable with red then this is a good choice um like i said have a nude base and top these glasses to get your mind accustomed to like a red if you never tried one are we getting bolder and bolder <laughs> so we started with very very light shades and moving up the ladder to come to the reds and here is a glossy finish red this is a sold out shade called scarlet i just have one of this um so i just wanted to show how pigmented it is because uh, that way you get uh, to pick how much you want the color to show up um if you have fly girl or if you have blue red then topping it with another uh, red gloss is going to make it pop so we come to the last one which is cherry confident so we saw um like a pinkish red you can see the difference so here it is a pinkish red then we did scarlet which is little darker red and here it's more of a matte red so these two have a glossy finish you can see this is more of a matte red so that's why i picked colors from different categories and different color groups so uh, like i said even with one lip sense color make sure you pick them different glosses so the same color will look different with different glosses so um, that's the cool benefit of um, utilizing uh, lip sense so i always tell them either you have multiple lip sense colors with one gloss or you can have one lip sense color with multiple gloss it, the option is always yours so hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to share the pictures and check it out and let me know